Welcome to our expedition. Today we journey to a place where the untamed forces of nature meet a history etched in stone and steel, Alcatraz Island. This formidable rock rising from the frigid embrace of San Francisco Bay has long captured the imagination. Today we'll explore its geography, early history, time as a federal penitentiary, famous escape attempts, and much more. Join me as we uncover the secrets of Alcatraz. Alcatraz Island, a name synonymous with isolation, confinement, and the indomitable spirit of man. But before it became the rock, it was and remains a product of the very forces that shaped this dramatic coastline. Situated just over a mile offshore from the bustling city of San Francisco, Alcatraz is a small island, barely 22 acres in size. Yet its impact on history far outweighs its physical dimensions. Surrounded by the turbulent currents of San Francisco Bay, its shores are guarded by treacherous, icy waters. The island itself is a rugged landscape of steep cliffs and exposed rock, constantly buffeted by the wind. These elements, unforgiving as they are, played a crucial role in shaping the island's destiny. Long before the clang of prison bars echoed across these shores, Alcatraz was a place of whispers, a spectral presence on the horizon known to the indigenous Olone people. This island, shrouded in mist and mystery, held a unique place in their culture and history. They called this island home, though not in the traditional sense. It was a place they visited, a part of their world that was both familiar and enigmatic. The land, while rich in marine life and offering a vantage point for spotting whales, was too harsh for permanent settlement. The rocky shores and turbulent waters made it a challenging environment. It's believed they used the island for fishing, gathering bird eggs, and perhaps even as a place of spiritual significance or exile. The island's resources were valuable, but its isolation also made it a place of contemplation and reverence. Centuries later, a new era dawned, one of exploration, colonization, and the insatiable hunger for gold. The California Gold Rush brought waves of fortune seekers to the region, forever changing its landscape and history. In 1850, with the California Gold Rush in full swing, President Millard Fillmore saw the strategic importance of this island at the gateway to the San Francisco Bay. He recognized its potential as a military stronghold. He claimed it for the United States, and soon the island was transformed into a military fortress, Fort Alcatraz. This marked the beginning of a new chapter in the island's storied history, one that would see it evolve from a place of whispers to a symbol of strength and resilience. The year is 1934. America is grappling with the Great Depression and a new breed of criminal, ruthless gangsters like Al Capone and George Machine Gun Kelly has emerged, challenging the very fabric of society. Traditional prisons proved inadequate. A new solution was needed, a place that could contain the most hardened criminals, a symbol of unyielding justice. Alcatraz, once a military outpost, was reborn as a maximum security federal penitentiary. The island's natural defenses, combined with state-of-the-art security measures, made it virtually inescapable. The cold, choppy waters of the bay, the unpredictable currents, and the ever-present fog became the prison's most vigilant guards. The history of Alcatraz is one of confinement, but it's also a testament to the enduring human spirit a saga of resilience and determination, the desperate yearning for freedom. Over the 29 years that Alcatraz served as a federal penitentiary, 36 inmates dared to challenge the impossible, each driven by a burning desire to break free, risking everything in 14 separate escape attempts. Most were apprehended, their dreams of freedom crushed. Some met their end in the icy waters, their hopes drowned in the treacherous currents, their bodies swallowed by the bay, but a few, like the flickering flame of a candle in the wind, remain shrouded in mystery. The most daring, the most audacious, the most ingenious was the escape attempt of June 12, 1962. Frank Morris, a cunning bank robber with a genius-level IQ, and the Anglin brothers, John and Clarence, vanished from their cells, leaving the prison authorities baffled, leaving behind only cleverly crafted dummies in their beds, a testament to their meticulous planning and sheer audacity. 
By the early 1960s, the once formidable Alcatraz was beginning to crumble. The relentless assault of the salty air, the constant need for costly repairs, and the changing penal philosophy all contributed to the government's decision to close the prison in 1963. The remaining inmates were transferred to other facilities, leaving behind an eerie silence that was more profound than the clang of cell doors or the shouts of guards. But the story of Alcatraz didn't end there. In the years that followed, a new chapter, unexpected and profound, began to unfold. In 1969, a new group of inhabitants, drawn not by crime but by a deep sense of injustice, claimed Alcatraz as their own. A group of Native American activists, led by the Indians of all tribes, occupied the island for 19 months, demanding the government recognize their treaty rights and return the land to its original inhabitants. They called for the establishment of a Native American cultural center and university on the island, envisioning a place of healing and renewal. Their occupation, though ultimately unsuccessful in achieving its immediate goals, became a pivotal moment in the Native American rights movement, shining a spotlight on the injustices faced by indigenous communities across the nation. Chapter 7, Alcatraz transformed a beacon of history and nature. In 1972, a remarkable transformation began. Alcatraz, once a symbol of confinement and isolation, was reborn as part of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. The following year, it opened its doors to the public, no longer a place to be feared, but a place to be explored, understood, and remembered. Today, over a million visitors from around the world make the pilgrimage to Alcatraz each year, drawn by its haunting beauty and the compelling stories etched into its very walls. They come to walk the same corridors as notorious gangsters, to stand in the cold, cramped cells, to imagine the lives lived and the dreams dreamt within these walls. But Alcatraz is more than just a monument to a bygone era. Nature, ever resilient, has begun to reclaim this island fortress, where once only the wind whistled through broken windows, now the air is filled with the cries of seabirds. Western gulls, their white plumage gleaming in the sunlight, have established a thriving colony on the island. Pelagic cormorants, sleek and black, dive into the bay, their fishing skills honed to perfection. And on the cliff faces, pigeon guillemots, their bright red feet, a stark contrast to their black and white bodies, nest in rocky crevices. The gardens, once meticulously tended by prison staff and their families, have blossomed anew. Alcatraz stands today as a testament to the enduring power of history, a place where the echoes of the past resonate with the vibrancy of the present. It's a place of stark beauty, of haunting stories, and of unexpected life. The island hosts a variety of events throughout the year, from historical lectures and book signings to art installations that challenge our perceptions and spark dialogue. In 2014, renowned artist Ai Weiwei, himself a former political prisoner, created a powerful exhibition on Alcatraz, exploring themes of human rights and freedom of expression. His work served as a poignant reminder that the fight for justice and equality continues, even within the walls of a former prison. For those wishing to experience the captivating allure of Alcatraz, the journey begins at Pier 33 on San Francisco's bustling Embarcadero. This historic pier is a hub of activity, with tourists eagerly awaiting their adventure to the infamous island. Ferries, operated by Alcatraz Cruises, make the short but scenic trip to the island throughout the day. The ride offers stunning views of the bay, the city skyline, and the looming silhouette of Alcatraz itself. It's highly recommended to book your tickets well in advance as they often sell out, especially during peak tourist season. This ensures you won't miss out on this unique experience. Once on the island, allow yourself ample time to explore. The island is rich with history and there are many areas to discover from the old prison cells to the beautiful gardens. The main cellhouse audio tour, narrated by former inmates and guards, offers a chillingly authentic glimpse into life on the rock. Their stories bring the history of Alcatraz to life in a way that is both educational and haunting. Be sure to wander the grounds, taking in the panoramic views of the city, the Golden Gate Bridge, and the bay. These vistas provide a stark contrast to the grim history of the prison. The weather on Alcatraz can be unpredictable, so dress in layers. 
This will ensure you stay comfortable throughout your visit regardless of sudden changes in temperature. Even on a sunny day, the wind whipping off the bay can be chilly. It's always a good idea to bring a jacket or sweater to stay warm while exploring the island. As we leave behind the imposing silhouette of Alcatraz, its stories linger, a reminder of the complexities of human nature, the enduring power of hope, and the importance of preserving our history. If you enjoyed this journey through time and memory, be sure to like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more explorations of fascinating historical landmarks, and share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring.